Hi guys, Tom Carrillo here from KitchenGuider.com. You might remember me from one of the episodes of Iron Chef. This is Iron Chef America. Uh, season 3. Anyway, uh, today's a very special day. Easter is right around the corner and uh, my mother, every year around this time, she usually makes her famous uh, Portuguese sweetbread called masa. And uh, this is something I've been putting off for a long time. I always want to learn how it's done, always be there from scratch. So today's a day when I'm going to finally learn it and I'm taking you along with me. All right. Okay, so we are here and she's expecting us. It's going to be great. Hold on. Hi. Hey. Hello. Masa day today. Mm hmm. My mom has already prepared a few things here. She uh, okay. I can see some lemon zest. That's that's what the I guess that's what the, the lemon smell is. So how much flour is in here? Five pounds. All right. So obviously she's making a huge batch here. That's five pounds of flour. Four uh, cups of sugar. Four cups of sugar. A dozen eggs. A dozen. A dozen eggs. Incredible. All uh, right. Three. Three quarter cup of butter. Okay. No, no, three quarter package. Oh, okay, three quarter of a package. Okay, so that uh, the standard size uh, bar of uh, butter, you're gonna use uh, three uh, three quarters of it. And half a cup of oil, because oil makes it moist. Okay, but right here, currently, in this thing, you got what? You're putting the eggs. You got the flour. You got the sugar. The sugar and the lemon. And the lemon. Okay. The milk is in the pot with the butter. Okay. To be melted. Oh, and uh, how much lemon? How much lemon zest? Uh, two. Okay, so. That was big ones. All right. So nice. two, pretty decent sized lemons. All the zest from it. Put it in there. One teaspoon of uh, salt. Okay, one teaspoon of salt. Did we say uh, sugar already? Yep. It's four cups. Four cups of sugar. Mix very well the salt in a cup of milk. Warm, warm milk warm makes milk. the dough rises fast. Okay. And how much milk is that? This was a, like a cup. But okay. it's gonna take like about one liter of milk. No, oh, okay. Could be one percent, could be two percent, doesn't really matter. Again, five pounds of flour. Four cups of sugar. Four cups of sugar. Twelve, uh, 12 eggs. Uh, a teaspoon of salt, uh, one cup of uh, warm milk. Now you have the yeast. And you put the yeast in there. How much yeast is that? It's uh, two small bags. With, and then I make I mix with um, four four spoons of uh, flour. Okay. And a little warm water. That rise, then we mix. Now you got the milk and the butter here. So again, this is uh, uh, about three quarters of a package of butter. And how much milk is uh, is actually in here? One liter. One liter of milk is in here. This there half a cup go. of oil. Yeah, okay, so you got to add half a cup of oil in there. Now we're going to mix before we put the milk. Now that yeast that, that you used before, was that dry yeast or was it the, um, the other one? This was not dry, it was the other one, but... Yeah, okay. uh, the other one, the dry one works also. Okay. It's to be too small. So if we if we were talking spoons, how much dry yeast do you think would really be in here? Uh, two tablespoons. Okay, so two tablespoons of uh, dry yeast. And it's about time I'm finally learning how to how to do this. Start by the, the butter first, because if you have some milk left over, at least you keep all the butter for the dough. And this butter that, uh, that you're using, this is just whole uh, salted or unsalted butter? Salt. Salted butter, okay.
until this milk gets dry, you cannot put any more milk. Oh, okay. Okay. Notice that my mom is standing on uh, two uh, two phone books. <laughs> we gotta get her a little stool. Yeah, you could do that for me. <laughs> Look at that. Mom mom is giving her shit. So how do you know when it's ready? How do you know when uh, when to stop working on it? Like uh, how do you know when okay it's time to just leave it alone and let it rest? It's very fine and it's not so hard and not so soft. Okay. That's what she said. So this is pretty much how it's supposed to look. This is when uh, this is when you should actually stop beating it. Yeah, now you're just going to sprinkle with a little flour. Don't get stuck to the wax paper. So it's been about four hours. Uh, we're going to bring out the masa that we put in the uh, oven there. We're just getting ready. We're just prepping it up. Buttering the uh, the molds here. Our masa has risen. Look at that. There you go. It's just so I just want you to see the uh, technique that's being applied here. See the size of it, so you know exactly. Wash the eggs first. Yeah, wash the eggs first, of course. Yeah, it is a little uh, Easter touch that's added here. These eggs, by the way, are raw. It's going to be cooked uh, with the uh, with the masa in the oven. There you go. See the dances on top, holding the eggs. Put the butter in your hands. Make sure you tie together. Mm -hmm. Then it's gonna rise again. Clean the thing. <laughs> For this one, we're not going to be adding the eggs, so you're going to pretty much make it that size. And you're just going to have uh, masa, the sweet bread. There you go with the other one. It's uh, approximately two hours later. There you go. So you see how nice it's uh, risen there. Everything is all nicely covered. You don't even see the eggs anymore. Now that's um, egg white and egg yolk. No egg. It's everything. All right. Something that a lot of uh, bakers also do with uh, breads, like um, if you guys uh, know the uh, famous Jewish bread challah, they also do that. Give it an egg wash. And why do you put that foil exactly in the back there? Because it burns the, the back, the round, and I don't want to have a dark color. Oh, interesting. And there you are. Now and you count exactly one hour. 250, that's it. Yeah, that's actually, it might be a surprise to a lot of people who bake bread at home. They're usually used to baking at a higher heat. For masa, it is about 250 degrees. And this is our finished product. It's Look at that. Flour. Look at that. That is incredible. Look how good that looks. One hour of uh, baking in the oven at 250 degrees. And that is what you get. 
Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope you guys try it and uh, tell me what you think.